I'm Randy Vance. I'm the editor-in-chief of Boating Magazine, and today I have the privilege of testing the Regal 35 Coupe. It's the smaller of the Coupe series that ranges to 52 feet. This one is equipped with Volvo Penta GI 5.7 liter engines with joystick steering. I'm going to walk you through it, but first I want to show you the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with twin Volvo Penta 300 horsepower EVC joystick stern drives with dual props. Test props were F5s. Our test load was three people and 150 gallons of fuel. Our top speed was 44.3 miles per hour at 5,000 RPM. The 35's most efficient cruising speed was just under 29 miles per hour at 3,500 RPM. At that speed, we were getting one and a quarter miles per gallon. We found the Sport Coupe to be nimble in turns thanks to the superior hookup of the dual props. Electronic steering was smooth and joystick docking capabilities add the confidence required for new skippers to take the helm. Now we really like the versatility of the helm station. You can drive it standing up by flipping this bolster back. You can also flip it down and you've got a great view and comfortable driving seated. I prefer to drive it standing, so I'm going to keep it up. Now here's one thing that I noticed that I really liked. On the joystick steering, the positioning of it is such so that when you're backing into a slip, you can turn around and drive it facing where you're going. It's a really handy setup. Now there's a lot of great creature comforts all over the Regal 35 Coupe and I'm going to walk you through them right now, beginning astern. Follow me. Now you can see the first thing we have is an expansive swim platform. It's all the room you want to really relax and enjoy the water from the aft end of the boat. We really like that. If you lift up this little sun pad here, you've got plenty of storage underneath. Over here is your shore power connections and there's a fresh water shower to give you a nice cleanup when you come out at the end of your swim. Now stepping forward, here's the trick we really like. Look at this aft lounge here. It's facing forward, flip this lever, set it down and now it's facing aft so you can watch your kids swim. Flip it down again and you've got a chaise lounge or take it all the way down and you've got a big flat sun pad. There's a table that fits right in here. It's on a stanchion that's mounted on the bulkhead not on the floor so you won't stub your toes on it. And there's another convertible feature I really like. This seat flops backwards so that you can face forward and you're with the captain. Now we really like the galley setup. It's a Corian countertop. You lift up this panel, you've got a freshwater sink. Lay it down, lift this one, you've got a wastebasket underneath. Now the coup de grace on this galley is the Kenyan smoke-free grill. It's a great place to make burgers and it won't splatter grease all over your cockpit. Down below, you've got a stainless steel refrigerator. Now this is an option and it goes nicely with the one below in your full galley. Here's a place for storage or it can be equipped with an optional ice maker. Now you want some entertainment, we'll reach up here, flip down the panel TV on the gas shock. Imagine what a great place this would be to watch a movie or even a ball game. Now the whole cockpit is air conditioned. If you get full curtains, you've got a completely enclosed living area as well. But we found that while running with the air conditioner on, the cockpit stays nice and cool, even in this 85 degree weather that we're in today. Now we might as well walk you through the galley below. This is a great companion to the cockpit galley. It starts out with an electric stove, and we really like the way that panel not only stores, it serves as a safety device with a cutoff switch that has to be depressed to run it, and you've got a splashback so you don't splatter grease on your vinyl. You can see there's a microwave here. You've got nice cabinet storage, and we like the handles rather than the push buttons. It makes access to these cabinets very easy. You've even got storage drawers here for your silverware. You've got more storage below, and the standard stainless steel refrigerator. I really like the fact that the Corian countertop is all fiddled here, so if the boat rocks, things won't slide off. Now you've got this enormous L-shaped lounge that wraps all the way around the cabin, but it converts quickly into a berth, and watch how I do it. It happens at the touch of a button. It's really slick. Now you've got a roomy queen size berth. It's perfectly level and perfectly comfortable. Now the standard media room is a really handy place to watch movies. 
You've also got a cabinet over there, and in it is a port for your game so that the kids can play Nintendos if you're going to let them on board. Now, if you'd like to make this your master stateroom, there's an optional inner spring mattress that fills this out and makes it an ultimately comfortable berth for the captain. Now, you've got a full fiberglass molded head. That makes it easy to clean up. There's a very nice teak sole here. You've got a Tecma flushing head, a sink with hot and cold water, and a fixed shower head with hot and cold water as well. Shower curtains wrap around the compartment to keep everything dry that you want to stay dry. Now here's a neat trick for cleaning up at the end of your cruise. There's a built-in vacuum system that lets you sweep out the boat when you get back to the dock, or actually any time during the cruise. Now we've had a nice sunny day on board and we've really enjoyed ourselves aboard the Regal 35 Coupe, but I think I've had about enough sun, so I'm gonna close up the sunroof and take advantage of the cockpit air conditioning. We think that's a great feature. We know you're gonna love it. Regals are built in Orlando, Florida, and they've got a full factory showroom that has every boat they build with every available option that you can take a look at. We suggest you do that if you're interested in the Regal 35 Coupe.